Hey right, guys, uh, John here. Um, here's another video on gaming. Um, I was looking through some of my books and I was looking at some of my adventure modules. I got, you know, Dungeon Land first edition. I got Halls of Under Mountain and Doom Force both fourth edition. And I was wondering if anyone's ever given this a thought if tying adventure modules together. And what I mean by that is not just by you you do one and then you do the other. What I mean is what if you took uh, locations of certain adventures like let's say a dungeon labyrinth like Undermountain and it leads into certain scenarios or that are from like Tomb of Horrors, or say it winds you up in Dungeon Land. Um, if you don't know about Dungeon Land, it's, it's a Gary Gygax uh, module he wrote. It's really good. It's supposed to be like uh, D and D players through Alice in Wonderland. It's really cool. Really good read. I I do I do recommend it. But yeah, what if you take modules and just kind of take ideas just take ideas out you know like oh they're going through the pcs are going through this labyrinth of a dungeon and they come across uh, the face of a devil with his mouth open like this and uh you know the made the magic user checks for magic detects magic and and he said, there's very strange magic. Very strange. None that you've ever written. None that you've ever encountered. Or, or read about. So, you know, like, you know, they, they do some tests. They put a 10 foot pole, and the 10 foot pole actually disappears from them. It gets, like, sucked through. And so they get the stomach to go through, and then they wind up in, you know, strange world. You know, this really strange, maybe even harsh world, or maybe it doesn't have to be Dungeonland. Dungeon Land itself is very uh, campy and cheerful, but they could wind up in another campaign setting. Like They could be in, you know, your homebrew setting, and then they wind up in Dark Sun. Like, what, what the hell is this? Actually, that would be fun. That would be fun. If you know anything about Dark Sun, that would be fun. Or maybe they don't wind up in, like, Traditional DD, maybe they wind up in Gamma World. You no, know, I don't know if that would be fun. That would be fun. Or a Gamma type world. Depends what you're running. But yeah, uh, on that note, yeah, uh, try to take things from modules and campaign settings. Even if you homebrew, you know, if it turns out it's for homebrew, it can, it can be really fun when you take stuff. Any for, uh, anyway, off that note, uh, tomorrow, my weekly RPG group, my, my weekly gaming group will meet, and we're taking a break from fantasy RPGs. We did take a break from 4th edition, um, and then we played some 1st edition, but now we're taking a break from fantasy RPGs, and you might be thinking what we're going to play. We're going to play Cyberpunk 2020. This is the uh, DM screen as well. And if you don't know what Cyberpunk is, it is basically a dystopian future where corporate where governments are no pretty much the, the 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 government has no power. And corporations rule and basically rule, they run on control plan, they have covert armies and they fight each other covertly. And yeah. It's fun, you know, there's cybernetics, you know, like arms, ring claws, guns, lots of guns, and it's just, it's very attractive in that regard to me, because I like kind of how the setting is set up, it, it's not a typical hit point system, it's, you know, damage, and, you know, you take so much damage, you know, you take a wound, you take like a mortal wound, and, yeah, it's very cool, very brutal. 
very good up, but I do recommend, you know, tracking down books. I wasn't, sadly, I wasn't fortunate enough to track down an actual core rule book, so I was resulted to printing out a PDF and putting it all in a binder and having my computer. But that doesn't matter, you know. I got dice, you know. Yeah, we, at least I was able to get this, because, quite frankly, to run a lot of games, you really should have screens, because you should. I was also able to get a Chromebook, which, yeah, yep, look at her on the cover. And this is basically a shopping magazine for Cyberpunk, where it's just, this is something your characters would be reading, and they got cool stuff. And uh, one reason we're doing this is because recently, um, CD Projekt Red, the guys who did the Witcher video game, RPG, released that they're making a new cyberpunk video game called 2077. And so I'm looking forward to that when it's done, when it's ready, because it looks awesome. But yeah, anyway, um... No, another thing to talk about. Uh, my uh, while back, I did a response to Samwise Seven RPG Tim uh, about his hex world. I haven't forgot about you. I've been plotting it out more, been thinking more about it, uh, doing a lot of thinking about it, and I will get back to you. I, I will make a video response about it soon because I'm just I'm flushing it out. Anyway, um. Uh, no, actually, I, um, see, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go back to more about Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I've kind of got this kind of film noirish adventure planned, and yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. I'll, and I'll let you know how that is after the game. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I, I don't, yeah, Cyberpunk, it's awesome. Um, and with adventures, you know, don't be afraid to take ideas from adventure modules or link, you know, kind of as I was explaining, you know, Plunder Portals, don't be afraid to, you know, say, you know, your worlds are connected somehow. You know, you want. They're in Forgotten Realms, and all of a sudden you want to drop them in Dark Sun? Go right ahead. It's It would be fun. Just come to think of it, I might rip that down. Um, but yeah, anyway. As always, I'm John. And, uh, happy gaming, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Adios.